Hey everyone, it's Notorious KIA, also known as Kia Marie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. It's been such a long time and I'm just happy to be back in front of the camera. You know, I've been doing this for over a decade and so I just needed some time to get, you know, my stuff together and channel this creativity and this energy that I've been giving to this channel and to me essentially into other creative endeavors. But I understand that I never left you all and life is, abundant life is beautiful and i really wanted to get back on camera and just share that with y'all because y'all seen the journey all right y'all not new to this so i really wanted to check back in with my og community y'all been holding me down for yeah like over a decade and i want to let y'all know i love y'all appreciate y'all i ain't going nowhere i just have to reevaluate what YouTube looks like for me. Other than that, like I'm amazing. Life is beautiful as you can see. I've moved. If you've been following along on other platforms, you know that I'm thriving, that I'm accomplishing goals, like I'm doing everything that I said I was gonna do, I'm doing it. Over this last year, I really zeroed in on my personal style. I got, I dug deep into who Kia is as a person, so naturally my style would kind of transition as well. I think it's really important for you to know who you are before you can honestly understand your personal style. So take take time, you know, it's a journey. Take time of self-discovery, self-realization, and just self-knowledge, self-mastery. So of course it's Earth Month. If I was gonna come back on YouTube, of course I have to come back with a thrift haul and lookbook like that's one of my og favorite contents to do if you don't learn anything else from me i want you to know that money does not buy style okay that's first you really want to utilize your creativity and your resourcefulness we all have it all you really need is a little bit of creativity a little bit of inspiration and boom you're on your way to having fantastic personal style but anyway let's get into this thrift haul it was fun thrifting. It's been a couple of months since I stepped into a thrift store. So I had like a new mind, new focus, so to say. And so let's get into it. First up, I picked up this polo men's shirt. Of course, always check out the men's department for that oversized button up shirt. And they are vast. There are so many for you to choose from. I really love this one that it's polo. I don't have a polo one. And it's a nice over shirt. You can wear it as a layer, you can wear it as a shirt, tie it around your waist. It's just so versatile. And you definitely need one of these in your collection. You know, I had to get it in a slightly different color. Are these the same? No, the, there's some color variation here, but this one is a little bit more dressy. This is more like cottony. This is more like heading to the office. And excuse the wrinkledness, I, I packed it on my way to LA this past weekend. But this is also another great layering piece. It's like I'm really loving, I've always really loved menswear and suiting and stuff. So this kind of just fits within that vibe. Yeah, definitely make sure you check out the thrift store. It's like, yeah, you'll find trends at the thrift store. But for basics, like a button-up shirt, like don't spend all your money on basics, especially a button-up shirt. If you like your oversized, head to the men's section. Speaking of men's section, of course, you can't have a thrift haul without a blazer. And this one is navy with pinstripes, just adds a bit of chicness to the situation. Instead of going for traditional black, chic it up a little bit and get you a navy. And I really wanted to share or just show different ways that you can wear these pieces. I also wanted to show how when you shop, always think about what you have in your closet one, but then also what you're picking out today and if they go together. So I really wanted to showcase and utilize all the pieces interchangeably. Like that's cohesion. Like always shop with that in mind. Like just picking up things because you like it. Okay. Like we like to do a lot of things that are bad for us, all right? <laughs> so think about how you can incorporate this piece into your current closet, current wardrobe, your current style. Always think about you. You are at the forefront of your style. Don't think about the trends, don't think about what somebody else is doing. Think about you. How does this work for you? You know, it's Earth Month. I always talk about sustainability here on this channel and my approach is definitely wearing the clothes you already have, getting creative with the clothes that you wear, remixing to give your clothes a new life through upcycling and DIYing and just understanding the versatility of your closet. Like if you're gonna bring something into your wardrobe, whether it's thrifted or not, 
always ask yourself, it's like the, the, the rule of three. Can I wear this in at least three different ways? Can I think of a three, at least three different pieces in my closet that I can wear with this piece? You know, mindset, just change the way you shop. There's nothing wrong with shopping, but make it make sense, girl, okay? Next up, I know the girlies have been loving like the maxi skirts and stuff, but I found this one, it is Ralph Lauren. Is it Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren? Tomato, tomato, either way. The skirt is really cute. I really developed my style or a portion of my style would attribute to wearing uniforms in elementary school because you literally got one pair of pants, one skirt, one dress. And it was just like, okay, how am I going to give this item a new life? You should turn this. Well, matter of fact, we only, we didn't even have a skirt. I didn't even have a skirt. I had the pants and the dress. So I used to take the dress part and tuck it in the bottom of the skirt. A lot of the girls at the school used to do that and just wear it as a skirt. I'm telling you, you just like, when we talk about personal style, think about, think back to those childhood memories, those core memories, those things that you used to live by and incorporate that into your style when it comes to just fashion. That's how you just move more in alignment with who you are and make it make sense, all right? Make it make sense. I really have pretty much a uniform at this point. I know like, the colors that I like. I know exactly what I'm gonna wear. I know the foundation and the formulation of my favorite outfits, like a blazer, of course, oversized button-up shirt, of course, a hat with these braids, of course. I'ma tie a sweater around my shoulders because she a little brolic, all right? <laughs> Next up, I'm stupid. I picked up these shorts, you know, similar. That's the thing, it's like buying similar colors or the same colors, but in different garments. So you know if it's too chilly or if you wanna give a different look, you can just throw on the shorts, but essentially you can pair it with the same top. Once again, getting the most out of your closet, okay? No matter the season. Boom, but yeah, these shorts ah, are so cute. Definitely a steal. They were $8. I found some of these at Oaken Fort. They were at least like 70 something dollars. I'm telling you girls, and if, even if you found like a pair of trousers, trousers, you just cut them into, I feel like I have a video on my channel of making trousers into shorts, like old, OD video. But yeah, like get creative. There's no rules when it comes to fashion. That's why I'm an advocate for, I don't look at the sizes in thrift stores. And I know that speaking from a place of skinny privilege, but it is what it is. I can't help who I am. And so I'm going to share tips that can help people who are who can relate. I'm definitely also from the school of genderless fashion. Like I'll shop in the men's section, shop in the women's section. Like it doesn't matter. Everything is interchangeable. If you like it, I love it, okay? Thought, let's start shopping and dressing for ourselves, not for anybody else, anybody's approval. And I know it's easier said than done, but I'm telling you, work on yourself and you will ascend over all this BS, okay? I also picked up this camisole, little nightgown teddy situation. It's a little too big for me, honestly. However, I'm either going to DIY it into something else, or I'm gonna add it to one of my mystery boxes, but we shall see. Slip dresses are an essential in your wardrobe. But I like to test drive certain pieces, like I'll get the thrifted version. And then if I see that I'm wearing it a lot, then I'll invest in a higher, new, higher quality piece. And you always should make sure you're checking the little night section, pajama section, because you're liable to find like some really cool corsets and negligees and slip dresses that you can just plop on top of the t-shirt and call it a day. And last but certainly not least, the girls have been gagging over the vests lately, the waistcoats, they call them, I think, like in menswear. Like I said, I've always been super obsessed with menswear, like that's a part of my personal style, like creating juxtapositions between two or more different styles, so like mixing in masculine with feminine or sporty with girly or like prep with like streetwear. So yeah, that is the formulation or the foundation for my style. Like if I'm not wearing, if I don't have two or more styles going on right now, then it's not me. I can never wear like head to toe the same style. I have to throw a little wrench into the situation. So whether that's wearing a sneakers with dress or throwing a ball gown over some jeans, 
Like, it is what it is, you know? But yeah, the girls have been loving. And I found this, it was like $6 at the thrift store, girls. Like, rows, rows of them. It's just a matter, once again, of finding one that's gonna, it's not gonna fit you exact, but finding one that fits you as close as possible to the look that you're going for. And you know, you can wear them as is if it's not too much of a gap, maybe with a bandeau top underneath or a little bra top, so it's like peeking out if you didn't wanna wear a shirt. Of course, you can pair it with shirts and do the whole suit situation. I'm just loving this. I thrifted a whole suit with a, with a vest a couple of years ago, back when I was at my apartment with a brick wall, and I ended up giving away or forgetting or something. I remember I had a, had the vest. I still got the suit though. And I'm like, damn, I would have had me a whole set, I'm telling you. You know one thing I also noticed? A lot, a lot of trends are just like, just now catching up. I was walking by Zara or somewhere and I saw that they had like the crop blazers. Like, girl, we've been cropping blazers over here since 1999. Y'all just catching up to the trends. So understand that a lot of things that start on social media or start from your favorite influencers, like they have impact <laughs> on these big corporations and it's up to us to support them, to uplift them, all right? To encourage them to keep going. That's one thing that I've learned so much over the years. If it wasn't for you guys' encouragement and kind words and like pushing me, I would have just, I don't know what <laughs> I would have done, <laughs> but it, it just made it so much easier for me to do what I love because I know that I'm helping someone. Like the impact when somebody can stop you on the street and tell you that you've helped them discover their style or love themselves or love their hair. Like, can't nobody tell me nothing. That was the best. I will go off on the tangent real, real quick. But last but certainly not least, we have this jersey. I actually picked this up like when I was thrifting in LA this past weekend and random. I just love the color of black and green together. Green is my favorite color if you guys didn't notice already. But this jersey is so cool. It's like a bit cropped. Nice football jersey. Perfect. All right, and that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are well. I send all my love and positivity to each and every one of you. I pray and I hope that this year is abundant for you. So I just wanted to send you guys that encouragement. Trust me, I know it's a process, but I've done it, so I know you can too. And I'll see y'all in my next video, hopefully. <laughs> So until next time, peace and openness. Hey, 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 hey.